Well, let's crack it again. I'm back again, and today uh, I'm going to be doing another promo and uh, FIFA 20 for birthday promo analysis. And uh, yeah, man, the second batch has just come out. The servers are down again, as usual. It's just, it's just a shit show. It's just a shit show at EA Sports. I can't even play right now, but uh, they have released some absolute fire. And uh, today we're just going to be taking a look at which players are going to be worth it for your squad. And, you know, which players, you know, are not it. And, um, yeah, just take a look at some of their stats um, and uh, on Footbin. So, first up, we have Van Dyke. I mean, I didn't have to say much. 80 pace center back. Um, you know, I don't think he's in um, Footbin yet. Let me just check. Just quickly check. Let me see if Van Dyke's in Footbin. Yeah, he's in, he's in Footbin. And, um... Obviously, he has 81 pace at the stage of the game. You really want your center backs to be a, like a bit more faster than that. I like for for me. I think if you apply an anchor on him, you know, 85 pace. Uh, I think that's enough, in my opinion. If you play low depth, that should be enough for Van Dyke. But uh, if you're if you if you if you want to be rather safe than sorry, just put a shadow on him. And uh, yeah, 99 everything, almost 99 everything. Um, his strength is good, jumping is good, his stamina is 78, it doesn't really matter, um, but yeah, yeah, Van Dyke's a beast. Now, this is probably my favorite card out of the entire foot birthday, even set 1, set 2, Paul Pogba. You know, I have a series on him, and yeah, I just love Paul Pogba in this game, and now he's a 5 star 5 star player, which automatically makes him one of the top 10 players in FIFA 20, I'm not even exaggerating, like, 5 star 5 star? Players are insane. Like look at Neymar, look at Cruyff, look at R9, uh, look at those insane players. Five star, five star. Look at that. <laughs> three million, three million guys. There's no chance I'm affording him. I'm, I'm just too damn broke. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really sad. But uh, yeah, Paul Pogba, five star, five star. <laughs> what do I even say about this card, man? Look, look at that. He's good in everything, dude. It says his defense is a bit lacking, but honestly, I'd use this guy at a center mid position anyway. But yeah, that defense can easily be fixed with the shadow, and um, yeah, his you know his dribbling is good enough. 92 dribbling, you know, he's still gonna feel clunky in the ball regardless if you improve his dribbling. Doesn't really matter. You know, 81 finishing that's not the greatest, but you know he's a center mid. You want him to sc score uh, long shots basically and um, have good passing ability, which he does. And yeah, his defense goes up to 82, and it's boosted by his physicality. Yeah, trust me, I know Pogba Pogba's player card. It's amazing. Okay, and 97 sprint speed. Yeah, dude, Pogba Pogba's gonna be a monster. He's an absolute monster. No, we have Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. Let's check him out. Yeah, so. Gareth Bale at the start of FIFA 20 was a really good card, but his only problem was that 3 star weak foot, he couldn't score with both feet, now he can, and now I'm very very terrified because people are going to use this guy and it's going to rip holes, okay, they're going to rip holes, it's not even going to be funny like the destruction this guy's going to cause because he has 5 star weak foot, if you play him as a striker, oh god it's over, it's, it's honestly over, like... <sighs> He can shoot with both feet now. It's it's over. It's over. What can you say? This guy's a monster. This guy's a monster. He's good in everything. He has good strength, good dribbling, good pace, good passing. Like, wow, wow, man, wow. Um, you know what? I I put a marksman on him. Yeah, improve that dribbling a bit more. Sniper? Yeah, I put put a sniper on this guy. Improve that dribbling a bit more so he doesn't feel too clunky. But other than that, yeah, he's a scary card. It's a very scary card. Um, yeah, I'm terrified. Okay. Now we have Ankel Di Maria. Now Di Maria is a two-star weak foot player, and I think they've given him five-star weak foot, which is a huge upgrade. Yeah, now he is a five-star, five-star player. That's another problem. That is another problem. Now there is another five-star, five-star player in this game, and yeah, he's this card. I didn't have to say much. It's already a good card, and. Um, yeah, man, just Di Maria usually feels clunky. He has, you know, he loves low strength. He's gonna be pushed over, but besides that, it's gonna be a fantastic card. You can play with Cam, left wing or left winger, right winger, whatever. You're. Um, it's gonna be effective from all areas in the attacking position. But um, yeah, what's the general consensus? I think you put a marksman on him, maybe. Marksman, I would improve that balance a little bit more if you want to make sharper turns. Yeah, if the sniper can be so, balance goes up. 
Yeah, perfect. Amazing card. I'd play him as a cam. Uh, then we have these beasts. We have these cards. Lacazette, for the baseline, he doesn't look the best, okay? At the stage of the game, um, yeah, he just doesn't look the best, to be honest. I wouldn't get, go for Lacazette if I were you. Um, but uh, I like the cost of them. Let's check out Costa. Let's uh, bring up Douglas Costa. His footmas card was an absolute disappointment. Or it was disgusting of it to be really sad. So Douglas Costa's base card is 64 finishing. Let's see what this one has. 75 finishing. They, uh, I mean, it's an improvement, but at this stage of the game, that's just unacceptable. All right, his dribbling's good, pace is good. So I apply a dead eye on it. And it gives up to 90 finishing, which is which is pretty decent. Right? It's pretty decent. If you're gonna, uh, if I use, use this card, I play him as a cam. And yeah, he's five star, five star now. Whoa. Okay, okay. I wasn't expecting. Yeah. Now there's a bunch of five star, five star players. It's pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, this card, this card's gonna be pretty good in my opinion. But yeah, the rest of the cards, I'm not even gonna look at them. It's not that not that great to be honest. But. Uh, uh, let's check out the SPC player, Sar. Mm, you know what? It's a good center back option. You know he's French as well. Let's check him out for a little bit. Sar. Okay. He did the pace as a center back. That automatically makes him a meta center back in my opinion. He's an SPC, but um, yeah, four, five, star, four star. <laughs> Five star skills for a center back. That's hilarious. He's obviously, um, you know, you know, his dribbling is pretty damn good too. You can play him as a CDM, uh, possibly. But uh, yeah, um, at the stage of the game, yeah, I put an anchor on him. Yeah, anchor 87, 87 pace is just enough. Okay, yeah, he, he's a bit of a, a six feet. It's not the biggest center back, but yeah, I, I feel I feel like he's gonna be a good card. But uh, anyway, guys, it's been um, anyway. Um, you know, to summarize my thoughts, you know, the second batch is beastly. Uh, it's it's godly. Um, I got, what I would do is wait for these uh, players' uh, prices to drop. I wait until Monday. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely try to go for Bale, Di Maria, Pogba, Van Dijk, Costa. If you can fit them into your squad, they're gonna be godly for you guys. And uh, Theo Hernandez, he's a bit slept on as well. He's a very good left back, in my opinion. You can even switch him in game to a center back. He's just that good. But uh, yeah, guys, th these players are amazing. Paul Pogba is the best player. Easily the best player in this match. He's probably one of the best players in FIFA 20, in my opinion. Like, it's godly card. But anyway, guys, it's Mini Bushes with another um, for birthday promo analysis. And see you next time.